Hello, today we're doing Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 2. Our objectives are, I can use one centimeter cube to estimate the length of an object, and I can mark and count amounts to show the measurement of an object. Okay, so we'll start with our application problem. With one push, Brian's toy car traveled 40 centimeters across the rug. When pushed across a hardwood floor, it traveled 95 centimeters. How many more centimeters did the car travel on the hardwood floor than across the rug? Okay, so let me circle our key information. Okay, his toy car traveled 40 centimeters across the rug and it traveled 95 centimeters across the hardwood floor. And our question is, how many more centimeters did the car travel on the hardwood floor than across the rug? Okay, so if you remember from last time, I was saying that when we have how many more, that's going to tell us to subtract. Okay, so we could do our picture by doing um, our tens and ones. So when we subtract, we just need to draw out the largest number. So we'll do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Okay, and then we would need to take away 40, okay, because we want to find out the difference. So we'll cross out 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, and then count what we have next here, what we have left here. Okay, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. We have 55 centimeters. Okay, so um, we would write our equation. With subtraction, we always start with the largest number in second grade. And so we are going to have 95 minus 40 and we can just go straight down. Five minus zero is five, and nine minus four is five. So we have the same answer. We did it correctly. Then we need to answer our question. So how many more centimeters did the car travel on the hardwood floor than across the rug? So the car traveled 55 centimeters more on the hard wood floor. There we go. Okay. So we'll move on to our problem set. Now we'll read our directions. Find the length of each object using one centimeter cube. Mark the end point of each centimeter cube as you measure. Okay, so remember last time we had lots of centimeter cubes and we had to line them up and make sure they touched. But this time they're only giving us one centimeter cube. So we need to make sure that we're measuring between these black lines. Okay, so we put our centimeter cube there. We draw a line. You see the line I drew? And then I'm measuring it. I'm lining it right up there with that line I drew. And there's another line here. And I'm uh, lining it up there. Okay. And it mostly is covered. So. We have one, two, three, 
and some. So we'll put four here because it's more than three, okay, by about half or more. So we'll estimate, which is not an exact amount, okay, but it's pretty close. So it's pretty close to four centimeters long, okay? So you'll need to do the same thing with this calculator where you line up your cube with the line here and then you make your mark and then you line up your cube with the mark you made and make another mark. And you keep doing that all the way across until you have finished to the line and then count how many you have and put that on the line here. And then you can do it with the envelope they have here. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And they have some word problems here. Okay, so Jayla measured her puppet's legs to be 23 centimeters long. The stomach is seven centimeters long and the neck and head together are 10 centimeters long. What is the total length of the puppet? Okay, so circle our key information. We have 23 centimeters long, that's for the legs. Okay, the stomach is seven centimeters long and the neck and the head together are 10 centimeters long. We want, what is the total length of the puppet? Okay, we have this word total. So remember total is going to tell us to add. So I'll put my plus sign there. Okay, so um, I'm thinking that I'm going to start with two numbers. We have three numbers to add together here, but I'm gonna start with 23 and seven. So 23 plus seven. And I just know off the top of my head that that equals 30. It takes seven more for 23 to become 30. So I thought that would be a good amount to add together and get a nice 10 there. Okay, so now we have 10 more that we need to add. So 30 plus 10 equals 40. Okay, now remember when we do our word problems, we're supposed to draw a picture. So we have, I kind of like to start at the top. So I'm gonna put the head and neck, okay, and then it talks about the stomach. I'm gonna assume that's the body, okay, and legs. Okay, so this head and neck together are 10 centimeters long, and see them. Um, and we'll say this area is the stomach, which they say is seven centimeters long. And the legs are 23 centimeters long. Okay, so there's our picture. Okay, then we need to write our sentence to answer our question. What is the total length of the puppet? The total length of the puppet is, and what do we say? 40, and we're using centimeters, so we'll abbreviate CM, okay? The total length of the puppet is 40 centimeters, okay? So we are going to talk about this next one, okay? Elijah begins measuring his math book with centimeter, his centimeter cube. He marks off where each cube ends. 
after a few times, he decides this process is taking too long and starts to guess where the cube would end and then mark it. Well, let's see how he did. Hmm. Does it look like he made good guesses there? To me, it looks like the first few there look pretty consistent. They look like, you know, where the centimeter belongs. And then, that one looks kind of small, huh? Oh my goodness, and look at that, it's kind of big. No, it's kind of, okay, well, so, you need to explain why Elijah's answer would be incorrect. Because remember, you're supposed to line it up and mark it, like, even if you're getting tired of doing it, you, you still need to stick with it and, you know, put your cube there, mark it off, put your cube there, mark it off, because you can see he didn't make the same spaces. So, you should be thinking about how you can word that. Okay, he was not correct because he doesn't have the same amount of space between each one of them, huh? Okay, so then our exit ticket. Matt measured his index card using a centimeter cube. He marked the end point of the cube as measured. He thinks the index card is 10 centimeters long. Okay, well this looks like a situation where you need to get your centimeter cube and make sure that he did it correctly. Okay, you have to make sure you mark. Um, well, did, should he have started with one here? Is that really one centimeter over here? Hmm. Okay, so it asks you, is Matt's work correct? Explain why or why not? And B, if you were Matt's teacher, what would you tell him? Oh, looks like they have a typo here. So this really should be an L. So let's just change that into an L. What would you tell him? Okay, so I hope this helped.